What's going on everybody? It's Aaron Cates and I'm coming at y'all with another video today. Now, today's video is something that actually you guys, my followers on Instagram, requested for. I had told you guys in the last two videos that, or just the last one video, I made a poll for more rock lights or tow mirrors. And tow mirrors like blew it out of the water. Had 30 something votes. More rock lights had like 12 votes. So, what we have here is some tow mirrors. Now, of course, I'm still going to be putting more rock lights on the truck, just not right away. Because this is something that was asked for. So, there's the tow mirrors. I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to put them on the truck. But first, let me show you everything that's in the box. With the picture, one, it, this is a Ford. Two, this is the new body tow mirrors. And I did not go with the new body style tow mirrors. And I'll tell you why in a little, but... And I also went with, oh, sorry, I don't know how long that was unfocused, but I actually went with complete manual tow mirrors, and I'll explain my reasoning in just a little. Now let me set this down so I can get that out. Voila. So, I went with the older body style tow mirrors. These are complete manual. So, this is the driver's side, that's the side I'm going to be showing y'all how to do so let's get over there okay so to get your mirrors off you want to take this plastic piece in the top of the door just pull out on it just do it you have to put some pressure but don't just snatch it out because you can break it there should be two tabs on it these two tabs right here now pull this foam out right here you'll see your bolts for your mirror but can't take it out yet if you have original power mirrors because this is plugged in so I'm going to show you what you got to do to get that out. Now you want to take like, use this knife right here, this works. So you take like a knife or probably not a knife, you want to use like a screwdriver but knives work too and you have one screw right there. Oh, well, I still have this knife out. You're going to come down here and... Yeah, I started the wrong side. Yeah, I definitely started the wrong side. Alright. Now you have that pried up. Alright. Get that out. So, that's off. That's off. We got to get that one screw out. Uh, some doors they'll have screws behind these little tabs right here mine does not and some doors like this one you'll have this right here so we gotta take this one screw out I think that needs to come out and take this one out right here some doors you'll have a screw right there I didn't put it back in because it's a pain to get to and it doesn't affect anything so I'm going to go ahead and get all these taken out, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Not to mention, all those bolts that you just took out are all 7 millimeters. So, 7 millimeter, 7 millimeter. That'll also be a 7 millimeter. And if you have the screws in these spots right here, they are a Torx bit. And it's uh, one of those star bits. So, I just want to take this. Okay, well, it's obviously still bolted in somewhere, so hold on. See? I lied. I thought I didn't have one of these, but I do. So, it's a torch bit, as you see there. Take my little set right here. If I remember correctly which one this is, it is going to be this one, I believe. Okay, so it is a T20, if you're wondering if you actually know like torch bit sizes, because I know a lot of people just call these star bits. But it's a T20 torch bit, so take this out, 
like I said, that seven millimeter is already moved. Seven millimeter that's in there is removed. The one that's on the bottom. All right, see, now I, I don't think there's one over there, but now I don't know if I'm right or wrong with anything. So there could be one over there. I guess like the biggest thing to do is just take this out and find out. See, see, there's one over there. No, I see. What even is this? All right, so this one is not a screw. This one is actually. So, try this again. Alright. Now that you've got the door off, and whatever this is, came off, I'm going to follow the wire coming from your mirror all the way down. And it's going to come down down here to your Pin. I'll do this one right here, take it, unplug it, and also do this blue one, unplug it, then you can take this, flip over top, and now since you're obviously not going to want this hanging, i take it, No, I just got that one-handed and first try. Alright, so now these are 10 millimeter. Go ahead and take these three out and I'll show you what to do from there. Just a little heads up. When you're taking this last 10 millimeter out, keep a hand over here on the outside of this mirror. As you can see, as soon as you take this out, it can fall out and you don't want to break these because you know, just in case you don't like your toe mirrors. You can still use these, so just be careful. Okay, so as you can see, the new mirror comes with a gasket and new nuts. These are the old nuts. You most likely can reuse them. I am not going to, just for the fact of the matter that it did come with new ones, so that is what I'm going to use. Now, go ahead and put your new it on there, or weather seal, or whatever you want to call that. Take your mirror. This works really well if you have your windows down. Get them through, I'd like say. So. Then you just want to thread a couple of these nuts on just to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these tightened down. And I'll show you guys once it's all the together. Right. And there we go. Got these all tightened down. Now you want to do this a little at a time. Tighten this up until it's just... Uh, tighten it up until you can like notice that you're getting tension there. And then start on the next one. Just work your way around like you're doing lug nuts on a car. And yes, I know they're not level. Yes, they're made for this truck, but leveling them, leveling them will come soon. Don't worry. I will level them. But definitely look good, so I'm going to finish putting the whole you know, door and everything back together. I'll do the other side, and then I'll pick you guys back up. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. I think it looks a whole lot better.
Now, like I said, I will be leveling them so they don't make my truck look like Dumbo. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if this was help for you, helpful for you at all. If you put tow mirrors on your truck, if you plan on putting them on your truck, if you went with the new body style tow mirrors versus the old body style, which is what I went with. And I want to explain kind of why I did that. One, as you guys know from my I had to hotwire my truck video, if you haven't watched that, go over and watch it. Uh, I had to hotwire my passenger window. I have no power to the passenger side of my door or the passenger side of my truck. So my passenger door has no power. Now my truck came with powered mirrors, heated mirrors, all that. And when I lost all that power to the passenger side, I lost all those functionalities, I guess you could say, or like, I, I lost the ability to do that. So I can no longer use the electric power. So there's no point in paying extra for powered mirrors if I can't use them. So I went ahead and went with full manual mirrors. It was a lot cheaper. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below for these mirrors. They were, I'm going to say like $86 Amazon Prime. So link will be in the description. Go check them out. Uh, you guys saw they came fully wrapped in styrofoam. I'd already opened the package before I showed y'all, but there's a piece of styrofoam that was on top. They came completely wrapped in styrofoam. They were in a cloth bag with plastic protector on the actual mirror itself. And so far they feel really great quality. It came with all new gaskets for the doors. It came with all new nuts for the studs on the mirrors. So, so far, I can't complain. I'll let you guys know if they like the mirrors wobble going down the road or anything like that. But from right now, 10 out of 10, I'm impressed. So thank y'all for watching the video. Let me know down below if this was helpful. Make sure you like this video. Go check me out on Instagram at Aaron Tates. Um, if you don't follow me over there, I post just about daily over there. I post on my story every day. So if you want more of an interaction with this truck or myself, that was a big bug. <laughs> Go check me out on Instagram right here at Aaron Cates. Thank you all for watching the video. Remember to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.